Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to use our Motion Duck extension in After Effects and Premiere Pro by making some simple promos like this. So here we are in an empty composition, and if I want to start adding some graphics, I can go up to our Motion Duck extension, click on this download icon on the top right of the window, and browse all of the different packs that we have available. Once you find a pack that you like, click the install button and the extension will begin to automatically download the pack. Once the pack is installed, you can then browse the different graphics available in it, then once you find one you like, just click the apply button. After a short load, the graphic will appear on the timeline and you can begin to customize it. There's two ways to go about this. The first way is by highlighting the graphic on the timeline, navigating to the Motion Duck extension window, then clicking on the customizer button. Here you have a full menu of customization options you can play around with to make your graphic completely unique. You can change any of the colors. You can change the position or scale of the different elements. You can also change the text of any of the titles. Another great feature is if you have a piece of footage you want to overlay a graphic onto, you can take your footage, put it on the timeline underneath of the graphic, and then turn the background of the graphic off. Now you have a professional graphic overlaid onto any piece of footage you want with just a few clicks. The next thing we'll do is add a few light leak effects onto the first graphic of our promo. We'll start by swapping to the cinematic light leaks pack. You can do this by clicking the duck icon on the top left of the extension window. This will show all of the packs you have installed and let you swap between them. Now that we have the light leak pack pulled up, navigate to the light leaks that we want, then apply them both to our composition. Once they're in the composition, we'll adjust their duration to be the same as our first graphic, highlight both light leaks, then set their mode to screen so that they overlay on top of the graphic. Now you can see we have these awesome light leak effects applied to our graphic in no time at all. If you look at the first graphic, you'll notice there's an in and out point. These indicate where the animation stops animating in and where the animation begins to animate out. We can use these as a reference for where to put the next element of our promo. So let's navigate to the motion duck window, click the duck icon again to swap which pack we're using, and this time we'll select the pulse pack. Then all we need to do again is navigate to the graphic we want and click apply. Once the graphic is out on the timeline, we'll take it and move it so that it begins right at the end point of the first graphic, so it changes before the graphic begins to animate out. Then we can shorten the length of this second graphic so that they both end around the same time. Now if I highlight this new graphic, then navigate to the motion duck window and click on the customizer tool, you'll notice that it says customizer layer not found. Unfortunately, not every graphic available is compatible with the customizer, but luckily there's a simple alternative. Double click the graphic on the timeline to open it, highlight the control layer within, then navigate to the effect controls panel. If you don't see this panel, go to Window, Effect Controls, and here you'll find the same customization options that would be available from the Customizer tool. If you want to change the text, you can open up the text layer and all of the text will be there for you to customize like usual. Now we have another graphic easily added into our promo sequence. The final thing we'll do is add in a logo animation to round out our promo sequence. We'll start by clicking the Motion Duck logo on the extension window. We'll then swap to our Glitch Masters pack, find the graphic that we want, and click Apply. Once it's out on the timeline, you can highlight it and use the Customizer tool to make any changes you need. Then, double-click on the graphic to open it, double-click the logo comp, then simply drag and drop any logo you want into the composition, then adjust its scale and position to your liking. Now when you go back to the main comp, you can see that your logo is now put into the animation and all of the effects are now applied onto it. Then we'll just bring this to the end of our sequence, now all of our graphics are ready to go. And just like that, we've made this full promo sequence and After Effects, all using graphics from the different packs available in the Motion Duck extension. Next, I'll quickly show you how you can easily create a promo sequence in Premiere as well. Here, we have the same Motion Duck extension window as the one we used in After Effects. You can download any pack you want, and you can swap between them easily. To get our sequence started, all we need to do is find a graphic we like, then click and drag it from the extension window onto our timeline. 
After a short load, the title will be imported and ready to customize. To start customizing it, simply highlight the graphic and open the customizer menu just like we did in After Effects. Here you'll have the same customization options as you did in After Effects. If the customizer is not available for a graphic you choose, you can instead use the Essential Graphics window, which can be accessed by going to Window, Essential Graphics. Here you'll have all the same customization options that you would have in the customizer, but in a more simplified menu. Now here you can just change any of the parameters that you want and your custom graphic is ready to go. Lastly, we'll use the Motion Duck extension to add a professional transition onto some pieces of footage. Here we have the two pieces of footage and adding a transition between them is extremely easy. All we need to do is swap over to our Seamless Transitions pack, find a transition that we like, then drag and drop it onto the timeline. After a short load, it will be applied onto the timeline and you'll notice a cut in the middle of the transition. Just line up that cut with the cut between your two pieces of footage, and now when you press play, you'll see that there's a professional transition between them. And just like that, we've made a simple promo sequence easily using the Motion Duck extension in Premiere.